Hey everyone, welcome back to another lecture of our SwiftUI Crash Course series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about context menus in SwiftUI. So, if you are familiar with the iPhone interface, then you might have already used context menus previously. If we open the simulator, you'll see that on the home screen, we have some applications and uh, let's long press any of the application and you'll see that a menu has appeared. This menu is called context menu and you'll see that when this context menu appears, the background gets blurred, only the app icon, which is the thing that you selected as well as the menu options are visible on the screen and all the other things get blurred. So this was introduced in iOS 13 and we'll see how we can implement it now in SwiftUI. So let's get back to our code and you'll see that we have a text added here. Now let's try to add a context menu on click of this text. So for adding a context menu, we just need to add a context menu modifier and we will get this option like menu items. Just select it and you will see that Xcode has already added some placeholder code for you. Let's just use the Xcode uh, template code only and see how does it look. So to open a context menu, we need to long press the text because this context menu has been applied on this text. So we need to long press this hello world text. So let's see it in the canvas. So we have this hello world text and once I long press it, you'll see the context menu has appeared. It has three items, which is menu item one, two, three, and they are not clickable at the moment because they are plain text as we are using text uh, view. So they are not clickable. So let's see how we can make this clickable. And you'll see that if we click outside of the context menu, it automatically disappears. So let's remove this text from here and add a button with a title and action. For title, we'll say mark as favorite. And for action, we will just say print button tapped. Okay, so now let's just long press it and you'll see we have a nice mark as favorite option added in our context menu. And we still have these menu item 2, menu item 3 which are still text so we will be removing this too. And we'll see how we can have a title as well as an image like we had in the simulator once we double tapped on any of the application, sorry long press any of the application you can see that we have a title as well as a icon next to the title. So let's try creating something like this so that we can have a title and a image. And then we also have a red kind of title, which is the destructive button type, which we discussed in our previous lecture while discussing the alerts. So we'll see how we can create both of these. So for this, let's create another button. And this time we'll select action and label for action let's keep it empty for now and for label let's add an h tag here and a text with an image so for text we'll say delete and for image let's use a system image trash so now once we long press hello world, you'll see we have a delete button title as well as a trash image icon on the right. So we are able to achieve title as well as the image. Now how can we change the color to red? So to make it a red color, we need to specify the role here. For role, we'll say destructive. And now once we long press it, you'll see that the title color as well as the icon color has changed to red. So I guess that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, please just let me know in the comments. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. I keep uploading new videos daily or related to Swift UI. So please do subscribe to the channel and please do like and share it with your friends. Thank you and have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.